Hey guys, Dave here. I want to answer a question a lot of people have. It's really simple. It's, it's how do you figure out like an exact frame count when it comes to run? So we want to use Evidimux. I don't know if that's pronounced right, but it's at least the proper program. Uh, so once you have that downloaded, I'll put like a link or whatever in the description. It, it, the only thing that you need to know is the start frame in which the run starts and the end frame in which the run ends. So obviously contact mods on SRC if you run a game and you don't know the information. Uh, but beyond that, it's really simple. So in Batman, the start frame is when Batman starts gaining control and he runs. So the first frame of movement, you see that, uh, is our start frame. So we go down here, we click this red A button, that sets the start marker. And in Batman, the end frame is when this Batman bar up here, whatever, starts to fade out. So we have to go all the way up here, we have to kill the Joker. Uh, oh, Firebug, I love you, you know that? Okay, so we have to start killing the Joker. Once this fades out, and I guess it's worth saying, like, once you select a, whatever, like, on the timeline, you can push left and right to, like, individually advance the frame, or you can just hold it, obviously. So once this fades out, you literally see. Uh, oh, man, it takes forever. Okay, so you see? We have a fade out up here, and it's starting. So that's going to be our end frame in Batman. And we're gonna go here, and we click, click, sorry, this set marker thing. So that shows us the start of the run all the way until the end of the run. And if you go down here and you look at where it says selection, this is your exact frame count. Super easy, you just need to know the information, obviously, based on whatever SRC they time it on, because every board is obviously different. So hopefully that helps out people, and yeah, take care.